That's a little loud. But welcome to KCSC Radio. Today's a very special day. I'm Shifty G, your host today on White Kid Music. And today on White Kid Music, we got a special guest coming from the Bay on tour. Yo! Yo, yo, his name is I Am Sue. Welcome, I Am Sue. What's poppin', man? How you doing? Not much warm now that I got back inside, not too cold. How you been? I've been great. I've been doing shows and trying to take care of my body. How's the tour? It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, been all over the world in the last two months, so I've been having a great time. So you mentioned you were in Paris and you were in Australia. What was that like? It was epic. I went to Melbourne and Sydney. And okay. That was about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And um, Paris was amazing, too. We played at the B Street Festival. It was me, Keith Ape, and um, a bunch of other artists. It was really, really dope. Okay. And you, you kind of got out of there right in time as, a, as things were kind of starting to That escalate. really broke my heart to hear about that. Seriously. Because not only just all the lives that were lost, just Paris is an amazing place. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I don't think, well, I don't think anybody deserves that. But just at the time, just getting to know those people and... It was just really sad. What was your favorite thing to do in uh, France or Australia? So in France, I went to the Louvre Museum. I saw the Mona Lisa. I went to okay. the Eiffel Tower. Um, I had hella croissants. And it's a fun fact <laughs> about me. I love croissants. Okay. Do you have the chocolate croissants? Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. For real. Um, have you ever been, because you're from the Bay too, have you ever been to a, like a Boudin Bakery or something? Like they've got some pretty good chocolate croissants there if you're into those. I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yep, sounds delicious. I don't, I don't know where too many are. I went one time on a French, like a field trip for my French class back mm -hmm. in like fourth grade. Yeah. They thought a good idea was like, hey, let's just go to a French bakery, yeah. and that, that was pretty yeah, good. That's like, a really good idea. For te real. Teacher paid for a bunch of chocolate croissants. Like, I'm not yes. gonna argue with that yes. at all. Uh, I'll do that right every day. So you've been touring around the, across California this time. Before you were touring the U.S. Mm -hmm. What's that difference between touring the U.S. versus touring the ca California? How much tiring? Is it when... Um, this is actually more tiring because okay. I'm driving, I'm performing, I'm setting up the stage with my boy Chief. Um, so last time I had it a little easier. I had a tour bus. And yeah, you drove. I saw your car. You drove here yourself. Yeah, I drove here myself. Okay, okay. Do you guys switch off driving ever? Me and my mom, yeah. What about the other guys? They don't drive. Oh. <laughs> they don't drive. But me and my mom, we drive. Okay, okay. Um, so... Do you have any crazy stories from being on the road? You know, you're doing all these like. Man, I had to throw somebody off stage in Bakersfield. You like you literally like I pushed them. Wow, myself, had to what they do? Throw them off stage just because he jumped on stage and um, I'm all for turning up, but yeah, you feel me? Yeah, you still gotta respect the show, man. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Now I also gotta ask. I know mom's here, but are there any? Oh shit! <laughs> mom just stole the Cheetos. But uh, are there any, like, crazy groupie stories? Can you share those? None. Nothing. I don't have no groupie stories. No groupie stories, for sure, for sure. All right, but if you don't have a groupie story, does that mean that there's, like, one girl, like a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend either. No girlfriend, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. No girl on your mind? I mean, it's a lot of girls on one mind. Oh, a lot of girls. All right. All right, well, let's, let's take it back a little then. If you don't have a girlfriend right now, can you tell me then about your first girlfriend? My first girlfriend. I had a girlfriend in my head when I was in elementary school. I don't want to talk about the girlfriend in your head. <laughs> I had a girlfriend for a long time. It was like six years, and uh, we grew up together, and we just learned about a lot of stuff in life together. So I'm shout out to her. Was she your first kiss as well? Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Was it? How was the kiss? It's romantic. It was passionate. Oh, you, you got a sunset, you know, uh, all that. I was in my car. I used to drive a Saturn. <laughs> I drove a Saturn LS. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to Refugio Park. In Hercules, California, and we made out, and it was hot. Nice, it was nice, nice well, and steamy and hot. Uh, can I ask how old were you? I was, um, I was a teenager. I was like seventeen. First kiss was when you were seventeen. Yeah, I'm a late bloomer just across. Wow, the world. wow, I got you beat seventh grade. That's what's up. Come on, man. It was Come like on. girls would kiss me on the cheek and stuff, but I didn't do any open mouth tongue kissing until I was seventeen. All right, all right, saving it for that one special girl. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer, you know. Okay, okay. Shouts out to her then. Mm -hmm. The first, the first kiss, the first girlfriend. That's always cute. That's nice. That was hella cute. Yeah, I got a, I got a girlfriend right now. How she's is that great. working out for you? Oh, she's amazing. That's beautiful. Her name's Kendall. She's, she's not in town right now. She actually flew back home this weekend. But, okay. but she's like, 
She's amazing. What can I say? That's she's what I like my to girlfriend, hear, man. right? That's what I like right? to hear. Right? I, I, I wouldn't, she wouldn't be my girlfriend if I would say anything less, you know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So last tour, you were every single day it seemed like you had a show. Yeah, this I, show, I you did, got uh, some more. You had I like, did like 40 shows that's in crazy. two months. And now you have like a couple of, you had like a week break in between yeah, some like of your shows. more just spot dates, really. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just had to market it. A certain way, you know what I'm saying? Market as a right. world tour because I did go around the world. I went to two co separate continents, so you yeah. know. But it just took longer to do that. I was in Australia for 11 days, so. What do you do in those periods of time where you're not performing? I'm planning out this album. How's the album coming? So the, all the music is done. Um, mm -hmm. Now it's just a side of marketing and getting videos and content because okay. I do all of this stuff myself. Right, right. right. Cause so it's a long process. Because, yeah, you have that freedom. I, I remember watching one of your interviews. You were saying how you like the freedom that you're able to put it out when you want to. You're not set to, like, a specific, de like, hardcore deadline, right? Uh, not even just a deadline, but just being able to put music out whenever I want to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I take to my SoundCloud or my Apple Music Connect, and I just drop music, okay. like, every couple of days. You know Why what I'm not? saying? Just because I really enjoy it. But that's what I more was talking about when I was talking about the, the freedom. Is there a time frame? For the album? Yeah. yeah. Man, hopefully within the next two months, like, okay. I can drop it, yeah. All I right. got my single, Famous, with Days Loaf and K Camp, and it's picking up a lot of steam. They play it in the Bay Area every mm -hmm. day. They play it in L.A. on the radio, and hopefully you guys can start playing it here. Definitely. Definitely yeah. we start, we'll start doing that. Um, cool. So what's the difference between Kilt 3 and Kilt 2? Energy, Energy, you know what I'm saying? Maturity, growth, and mm. confidence in myself. You know, a lot of my older material I was talking about, I wonder if maybe, mm -hmm. I'm hoping, all of that is out the window because I've been head first in the game for like the last year, two years. Okay. So now it's just about me staking claim to my position as one of the top artists in the game, you know, and that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, is it going to be around the same length as Kilt 2 as well? Uh, or it's more a little tracks. shorter. Little, okay, a little shorter. little shorter. Okay, okay. It's now, um, <clears throat> your Eyes on Me tour, you focused on like self-confidence, you said. Yeah. That, and that you dropped the mixtape as well. Yeah, Is that was any... just for the benefit of all my fans, like you said, self-confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, I like meeting confident people and people that believe in themselves, so that's why I did that. Okay, and now does Kill 3, does it have like a central theme to it? Um, it's just really about... Uh, just high energy songs, songs that I could perform on the road, uh, songs that I feel like could be played in the clubs, in parties, even outside of the club, because the club, I don't really enjoy the club, mm -hmm. but just parties in general, and just, it's about having fun, man, honestly. Okay, that's nice, that's cool, mm -hmm. So, and it's not just a bunch of like club bangers, those anthem I mean, I'm, songs. I'm rapping really good on there. Of course, well, the album, you better you know? be, it's your album. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, just rap <laughs> I'm rapping exceptionally well throughout the album, mm -hmm. so it's not just a bunch of just ass songs. Okay, I, it's I actually not one ass song on there, but really, it's just like it's good energy. And now, how long has it taken you to create this album? About a year. It took me about a year. Yeah, it took me about a year of really focusing. I went to Miami and recorded. Um, I recorded in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, I recorded some in Los Angeles. Uh, I recorded all over the map. How about the Bay? Just picking vibes up, yeah. Okay, my, <laughs> you got you. For, you furred your brow. You're like my main. Studio, of course, I. My main I studio is in Oakland. Okay, so I record in Oakland. All right. Do you, you do you have a, a studio in your house or anything, or is it always you got to pay for studio time? Nah, uh, I don't have a studio in my house, but uh, my boy is an engineer and he'll pull up with all the setup and set up in my house from time to time. Or I, or I was gonna ask if you have like a closet studio, you know? Just yeah, the, I need to get back school. to the closet studio. That's okay. how we made some of our biggest songs. I recorded my verse for Gas Pedal and Sage's Closet. Oh no way! Double platinum. That's awesome. Dude. Mm -hmm. That's awesome because I go to my friend's house and they we just go to the basement mm -hmm. and we'll just make some music. We'll just mess around, you know. And that's they, where it's at. And they call it under the house music. It's literally under the house. That's where it's, it's at. It's fun, dude. That's the place where you can get the best acoustics. Because no you're just like hella comfortable noise. in there. Mm -hmm. And making good mm -hmm. music is just about being comfortable, right? Because if I'm not like feeling myself, if I don't just feel relaxed, then it's you will it's sound gonna be weak pretty song. So you oh, have to definitely be as super comfortable weak. as possible. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are here on KCSC Radio on White Kid Music with I Am Sue. We're going to take a short break. We're going to play a song off of Kilt 2. Yes. It's, my, it's my personal favorite, uh, I'm Hipster Girls oh, by okay, I Am yeah. Sue. This is White Kid Music. <laughs> we are back live with I Am Sue on White Kid Music. I'm DJ Shifty G. Yo. Yo, yo. DJ yo. Shifty G. Yeah, that's the name. 
DJ Shifty G had it for a little over a year now. I'm, I'm liking it. Before I was thinking I might change it, but it just kind of grew on me. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get the name I Am Sue? My Twitter. Twitter. My name is Sudan. Mm -hmm. And um, when I made my Twitter, it was I Am Sue because everybody calls me Sue. So my rap name at first was just Sue with an exclamation point. Okay. But then um, when Twitter blew up. Then you feel me? Yeah. I was like, I should just be my name. And as soon as I did that, everybody started listening to my music because it was hella easier to find. Find easier to find on Google. Yeah, so it was like some search that, engine yeah, optimization SEO, or something. Man. <laughs> See, SEO, there you go. Bro. All right. Okay. All right. I'm Shifty G for me, my friend. I didn't know what I was gonna be called. Um, I, I kind of liked King Kong, but I was like, nah, that's not me. I'm not King Kong. But my friend was like, James. If we were just like hanging out. He's like, you're kind of shifty, you know that? You're the kind of shifty guy. I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, you know, from the outside, you the way you present yourself, you're like this good little kid, you know? They're like, oh, wow, my name's James. Like, he's such a nice, upstanding kid. But you get to know him, and then it's like, whoa, you did that, and like, you did yeah, that thing. I'm the same, I'm the same and you're way. like, what? <laughs> so they're like, you're kind of the shifty. Same way. You're kind of shifty. Kind of shifty. My rap name in high school was Young Caesar. Young Caesar. That's yeah, a big name Caesar. right That's there. That's a big name, you know? Okay. What I, mean? I always thought, thought of myself as a leader. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Young Caesar. Is that C the. Dash Z A R. Oh really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So did you do like lunchtime, like freestyling yeah, around the I table? Yeah, lunchtime freestyles. I would do like little songs. I make in my bedroom, bring it on mm -hmm. a CD. I was selling my mixtapes out of my locker. I was like <laughs> the rapper at the school. Like totally, you know everybody saying? knew him. Everybody knew Caesar. Yeah, everybody they didn't call knew. Me they didn't. Me Sudan. <laughs> they just <laughs> called you Sudan. <laughs> Look, Caesar wasn't on no CDs or nothing. I was just uh, in my head. Like, okay. 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 That's funny because that's how like. I, that's how I got my start, just like, because I freestyle a lot, I, I just like to do that, um, and it was just my friend at the lunch table, you know, freestyle, and and then we started doing it more, and now, a tradition on white kid music, you got freestyle. Okay. So you down to freestyle a little bit, throw down a little I can't really session. hear the beats. Oh, you, okay, you yeah, might be able to hear it. All right, so... Anything, anything and everything. All right, you got to start it off, though. Of course. Okay, let's of, get it. Of course. All right. And I'm going to rap about whatever you rap about. Easy enough for me. Okay, all right, all right. perfect beat, too. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. All right. White Kid Music here with I Am Sue, DJ Shifty G, laying down the classic freestyles. <laughs> Shouts out to DJ Rafiki who could not be here today. DJ Rafiki, DJ, Evan. DJ Rafiki, the established star IT. You know I'm on KCSE and I am Shifty G. I'm chilling with I am Sue. You know he's Susie Six Speed. He got what you need. He got the rhymes. He got the dimes. He could drop a dime. I'ma drop a dime on the court. You know I run the course. You know I run it like I'm a horse on the. Kentucky Derby, you know I'm about to win it in no hurry, but I'm gonna make your vision become blurry with a one two, hit you with that one two. What you do now? It's a quick KO, that's a knockout, no pout. It's raining outside, but I don't matter, cause I rain like pitta patter, jibba jabba. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clitter clatter, you know I do it, but I'm a fatter, I'm the fattest kid, you know I'm rapping with the fattest kid, the one and only I am Sue. You know this is how we do, we on KCSC. You choose the music, you choose it, you abuse it, and you know what that's cool with me. Cause I'm just rapping to the shook ones beat That mob deep beat You know I make it complete like Dr. Dre couldn't But he didn't do that But I'ma call you out, Dre Wouldn't you suck? <laughs> alright, alright okay. yeah, I'm a rhyming master Never a pastor Sports caster Shouts out my boy Shifty G My empathy Race going up because I'm a nice person Sometimes it gets worser and worser and when I get the computer, I grab the cursor and click mm -hmm. on the Internet Explorer and go to the porn <laughs> site. Hey, and I'm like, Walter Cronkite. I don't mm. know who that is, but that's the name I thought up. Hey, and that's just the way I was brought up. My mom's a teacher, so I'm a teacher. How to get this money just like our son do. I shine like the sun do. Kick it like Shunzu. And that's a Japanese karate movie. Hey, <laughs> they call me Young Susie. Susie six feet, about to make history. Bury the game six feet. Put it in a casket, young rich bastard. I got the game master. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, man. Positive freestyle. Okay, he man, got the. the he's the master. Hey. He's the master G. You know I'm coming. I'm gonna create catastrophe, devastation. You know I'm creation. I'm a Mr. Evolution. You know I got the solution. I got the solution to the problem, but I got a problem, but not like problem. That's he and. I am Sue, but yeah. I'm just coming and I got a problem. It's that voodoo, that woo-doo, that hoo-hoo, that cuckoo, local, local shit. 
Chillin' with my Hispanos You know I could change it up in the bilingual flow You know this a, this a Spanish song Porque yo hablo español You didn't know I got the fuego flow No para porque estoy Yo puedo hablar, yo puedo hablar Y yo puedo matar un ranchero Tengo armas y no voy a La cielo o lo suelo Ah... Uh, Hey, you know another language? I'm going pop like Lady Gaga. Okay. Rap in Spanish. Yo quiero la panocha. <laughs> okay. Hey, and that's a gato. Hey, and I forgot though that I can rap with my eyes closed. Hey, paint a picture like Picasso. Yeah, dipped in cheese like nachos. What up, Vato? I tied a bandana around my head and killed a beat and lay it dead. No, I'm not B Rabbit. I'm a Shifty G. Came through, you know what it be. <laughs> and I'm not Papa Doc, but I like to rap a lot and I like to smoke a lot. And I come through telling lots of jokes a lot, but I'm real corny when it comes to jokes, bro. Hey, Cause I'm not a comedian. And every time you see me and you know I'm obedient, that means I listen to rules and keep it cool. S you, never a fool. Stay in school. Chico State, what up? <laughs> Chico State, all right, okay. So we we in Chico, well, we ain't that Rico, but we just like to freak with the Frico at Rio Chico. That's a apartment complex, you know I do it the best. You know I do it unlike any others could. I'm better than the rest. You know I'm better, and I put you to bed. I put you six feet under the ground. Ground, what you doing running around town? I'm the king looking down on the crowd. You know I'm the king, I got the crown, and you know I could go wow on the stage. I'm on prowl, I'm on the prowl. Like a cougar, you know I got the Ruga, I got the nine milliliter, nine Ooh. liter, and I got the two liter cup of soda. Cause you know I'm just doing this like Vodas do, Vodas do. All right, we're getting into the freestyles. Oh, uh, that was over, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, you wanna you wanna hear a white kid music classic? Yeah. All right, all right. This is one we put on every single show. This is back to the days in the dorm. Mm -hmm. This is. How it, How it like really got, got started. started. This is one for of this. your songs I'm about to hear right now. No, nah, this is one of my songs, no. Oh, okay. I thought it was White Kid Music. Okay. This is White Kid Music. This is a show. You're just on the show. This is the Sandman beat. This from um this from Back to the Future. Is it? I didn't know. You ever seen that movie? I've seen it, but I don't remember this part. Alright. <clears throat> you about to rap to this? Of, of course. <laughs> of course. Yo, it's the Sandman, not Metallica band, but I'm like the Pakistan. I'm okay, hold up. Uh, I'm like the Taliban controlling governments in Pakistan, and I'm blowing up buildings like Al Qaeda can in Afghanistan, you know, or blowing up. Oh, okay. I'm like I'm like Hamas in North Sudan, and I'm driving across the sand. You know, I'm I'm doing this, and I do it for the fans. You know, I do it in the stands for the fans in the stands, and they stand up with the Nikes on, and they shut up just to hear me spit the flow. Hit me, spirit, hit me, yeah. Yo, Listen I want up. everybody to come to my show tonight, man. If you yep, listening to this, yep, yep. make sure you get your tickets, man, at the door. I think it's almost sold out, but mm -hmm. make sure you get your tickets, man. We about to go up. It's a movie. I love my squad world. Senator. My boy Shifty G. The Senator Theater. Get Senator there. Senator Theater. Get there. I love my squad world mm -hmm. tour. And I want to thank everybody for having me, man. I had an amazing time. It was fun freestyling with you. Thank you. So hopefully I can come back one day. We can rap some more. Hey, you are always welcome back on the show. Yeah, yeah, Anytime. Yeah. You want a freestyle? I'm hey. down. To, I'm down to throw down a freestyle. Me and my DJ freestyle every day. Really? <laughs> hey, that's good practice. Can we? Can we expect a? Uh, can we expect a freestyle tonight? Uh, you might just get a freestyle, bro. Oh, there we go. Because I requested it. it. Yeah. Let's do it. Fuck it, man. Hey, if you need somebody to freestyle with on stage. Hey. Hey. Once again, thank you, though, man. We got to get to the sound check. Of course. Of Senator course. Senator Theater tonight. Senator Theater. Chico. I am Sue. Woo. Grayson, our presence. I am DJ Shifty Chi. We thank you very much for thank taking you, the time man. out of the day. Hey. Break a leg tonight. Ow. All right, guys.